What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We continue with our 2023 prediction. Syracuse is up next. Let's take a look at some of the other predictions uh, for the Orange. The FBI has them at 7.5 and 4.6. Athlon has them at 7 and 5 and the over under is at 6.5. So over under a little bit lower here, but it seems like this team is expected to go a six and six, seven and five, maybe even eight and four. Again, you see the FBI with that seven and a half wins, and also gives them about a ten percent chance to go to the ACC championship. So expectations fairly high for Syracuse. Honestly, I'm surprised at that. When you look at this team, yes, Garrett Schrader is coming back, uh, but you, you look at the running back position, nothing really uh, impresses me a whole lot there. They've got Gadsden back at tight end, of course, big time playmaker. Uh, one of the best in the country coming back this season. But other than him, I mean, who are they going to throw the football to? That concerns me. And the offensive line is what really concerns me. They just uh, don't have a lot coming back. I just I worry about this offensive line, and that could ultimately really, really hurt this offense. Defense should be pretty solid, especially at the linebacker position. Uh, so this team has a chance to be pretty decent, but I don't think they have a chance to be anywhere near the top of the conference. And you look at the schedule the non-conference schedule is not too bad. You do have Purdue there on the road. But they play Clemson, North Carolina, and Florida State, arguably the top three teams out of the ACC. Virginia Tech, they have to play them on the road. Uh, you know, So it's, it's a pretty tough schedule in the ACC. I think they get off to a good start, though. Colgate, Western Michigan, we're going to go ahead and say they win both of those games. So I do think they start off 2-0. and And then here's the game against Purdue. I think this is really a, a big game, kind of a swing game that's going to determine the season for Syracuse. Win this game, and I think they're going to have a good season. Lose this game, I think it's going to be a bad season. Um, and, and I just look at this matchup, I think it's going to be pretty even. These two teams, fairly even. Um, it's a, I mean, this is a tough one for me. I mean, really, I was going back and forth on this game. I don't think Purdue is going to be great this year either. Uh, you have a lot of new faces at Purdue, but you also have the element of, of the unknown because you don't know what to prepare for exactly with, with this Purdue team. At this point, they would have only played a couple of games. So, it really, it just came down to home field advantage for me. Purdue is the home team. I'm going with the Boilermakers. I've got Purdue beating Syracuse. So, they drop to 2-1. and one. Then they'll play Army after that. Always a tough team to prepare for. Coming off of a loss, potentially, and then Clemson the next week. This is an upset alert type spot right here. Watch out, potentially, for Army to upset Syracuse. I think Syracuse has just enough, though, to get it done. They win a close game, but definitely get a scare there from Army. Then they'll play Clemson on September the 30th. Of course, they played Clemson tough in the past. I don't know what it is about this matchup, but Syracuse, you know, they pulled some upsets. They had some close games in there as well. Uh, playing at home, probably going to happen again. But I think Clemson overall just too talented, too good. I think the Tigers take this one. Syracuse drops to 3-2. and two. Then they play North Carolina on the road. Uh, going to go get up against a really good offense for North Carolina. The defense for North Carolina, maybe not as good. So Syracuse should be able to score in this game. I think it'll turn into a shootout, uh, but in a shootout, I'm going to take Drake May. I think North Carolina at home gets this win. Syracuse then drops to 3-3. Three and three. They play Florida State after that on the road. I think they get crushed in this game. This is going to be a really good Florida State team. I've talked about that over and over again. Plus, you're playing on the road. I think this is a complete blowout, and I think that's going to be three straight losses for Syracuse, dropping them to 3-4. and four. They get Virginia Tech next on the road. Tough place to play. I'm expecting a Virginia Tech team that's going to be improved a little bit from where they were last year. And so I think that improvement plus home field advantage is enough. Uh, this Syracuse team comes in here reeling after losing three games in a row. I'm going to say it's four games in a row. I think they lose again. And three road games in a row, that is tough. That is a really tough spot in the schedule. They get Boston College the next week on November the 3rd at home. I do think they bounce back here. Boston College, another team that I think is going to be improved from where they were last year, uh, but not by a ton. Syracuse home field advantage. I think they're going to be a little bit better in this game. Should be a good one, a close game, but I do have Syracuse winning. And they'll play Pittsburgh in the Bronx. Should be a, a pretty good matchup here. I think overall the physicality of this Pittsburgh team uh, is going to be good enough to get it done, though. Uh, can the Syracuse offensive line, I talked about them earlier, can they hold up against a, a strong defense in Pittsburgh? I'm going to say no. I've got Pittsburgh winning this game. Then they'll get Georgia Tech on the 18th on the road. Uh, this is basically a toss-up game for me again. I'm just going to go with home field advantage. I'm going to say Georgia Tech gets this win. Um, but Syracuse definitely has a shot in that one. And then they'll finish things up with Wake Forest. Good offense for Wake Forest. Bad defense. But 
I don't think Wake Forest defense, they definitely are not going to be able to take advantage of uh, this Syracuse offensive line. I think the, the offense for Syracuse will score in this game. It's another shootout similar to the North Carolina game, but playing at home, Syracuse gets it done. They get the win, but they finish 5 and 7. So again, those predictions earlier were at 7 and 5. If you give them these five wins, where are the other two wins going to come from? Maybe Virginia Tech, Pittsburgh, Georgia Tech. Maybe you could win one of those. Maybe beat Purdue. And I do think it all comes back to Purdue. I think if they beat Purdue, then maybe you see them get another win here and go 7-5. and five. That's kind of the ceiling for me. Um, lose to Wake Forest, though, that's a possibility. So 4-8 and eight even is possible. Uh, but I think 5-7 and seven or 6-6 six and six is more than likely going to be Syracuse record in 2023. I'm going to go with 5-7. and seven. We'd love to get your thoughts, your predictions. Let me know what you think down in the comments below.